Hey, welcome back to Silhouette Success. I know I've been missing in action for a little while, but I have been working behind the scenes. I'm gonna tell you all about that in just a second. First, I wanna let you know, today we are covering the offset panel. It is not very hard to learn. There's only a couple of things in the panel, but there are so many things that can be done with the offset tool that I think it needs to be discussed. There are a few things in the crafting world that I need to bring attention to. First and foremost, Dreaming Tree and Creative Fabrica have teamed up and now with your one year all access subscription to Creative Fabrica, you can get Dreaming Tree designs for free. They are amazing, they are perfection, and they are free with your subscription. The second piece of news is that I have created the second workbook in my series. You may have grabbed the copy of the first workbook. This is the second. It is called Design Deconstructed and it goes over a ton of information in here. We're looking at the offset panel, print and cut, the modify panel and more. There are project assignments, there are reflection sections, and there is a project planner at the end. You can make as many copies of that as you'd like and create your own crafting journal, if you will. Now, last but not least, I have a free offer for you. This is a mini course. This is hopefully the first in the series as well, but I wanted to offer it for free because I would like your feedback. If this is something that you're interested in, definitely let me know. Any feedback on the course itself would be greatly appreciated. Now, let's dive in. Offset is one of the most powerful tools in Silhouette Studio. It lets you create a duplicate outline around shapes and text, giving them a bold layered effect. The basic offset adds a larger outline for layering projects, while the internal offset shrinks the outline inward instead of outward. You can adjust the corner styles. You want rounded for smooth edges and sharp for more precise corners. And once you've perfected your technique, you can use this on stickers. You can use it to thicken up fonts. And we're going to also work later on in the video on the knockout method. Let's look at using offset for print and cut. I brought this PNG of a strawberry in. And since I have my preferences set to auto trace my PNGs, if we go to the send page, you'll see that this has come in with cut lines all around the edge. And we could do a print and cut with it just like this. However, if the cut is off a little bit, you're going to be able to notice. There might be a white outline over here and some of the color might be cut away over here. And we can reduce the noticeability, I guess, of this if we just use an offset. So we're going to click on the image and click on offset. You can adjust the distance here. It's all a matter of preference, but this is going to give the entire print and cut a white border and you're not going to notice as much if the cut is off. Now let's go back to the send page for just a minute. You're going to notice that the original cut line of the image is lit up and the offset is lit up as well. That's telling you that both of these lines are going to cut and that's not what we want. So let's go back to the design page. And if you're using the regular offset, the easiest way to fix that is to select both pieces, the offset and the image, right click and group them together. Now you can go back to the send page, go to tool one, use outline of selection, and that's going to turn off the inside cut. But you have to remember to group those two together. Now let's take a look at using the internal offset. We can ungroup these and get rid of the external offset. Now we can select our image and click on internal offset. If you're using the internal offset, you don't want it that big. Let's decrease the distance here so that it's kind of close to the edge, but we still have a little bit of leeway. This is just going to cut a little bit of the color off all the way around, and this is going to ensure that we're not left with any white around the edge of it. Now this time, when we go to the send page, you'll notice that the outline of the selection has moved to the actual outline of the image, but we need our internal offset lit up. So with our strawberry selected, 
Let's click on ignore selected lines and now the internal offset is highlighted and if we zoom in here we can see that it's going to cut just the edge of that color off and we should be good to go without any white border around our image. Now let's talk about using the offset tool to thicken up our fonts. If we zoom in on some of these lines here you can see that it is going to be very, very thin in some spots, and this is going to be both difficult to cut and difficult to weave. We can thicken these spots up a little bit without compromising the design by using the offset, and you typically want this to be kind of a small offset. I like to start with 0 0.015 and go from there. And let's zoom in on this again. You can see it is quite small, but even though it's small, it's going to make a huge difference in the way it cuts in weeds. You can pull the original away, and I like to group everything together. We can fill this in with color, and it looks very similar to the original, but these little bits and pieces are much thicker with the offset. Now let's take a look at the knockout method using text. I swear this is everybody's favorite technique for using text for a really long time now. It is super popular. I've started with two different fonts here. I have the blocky silhouette and a script font for success. And I like to line success up with the middle of silhouette, but down towards the lower third of the letters. When I have success set in place, I can click on that text and do an offset. And that's going to create the border all the way around the word. I'm going to bring the distance down just a little bit so it's somewhat smaller. I think that's okay. Let's click apply. Now the offset is selected. I can hold down my shift key and select silhouette as well. We can go to the modify panel and since both of those are selected, I can click on subtract. That's going to completely remove the offset and cut it out of the bottom layer. Now you can see there are about a bazillion bounding boxes here and we can fix it by selecting all of the pieces, right click and group. Now there's only one bounding box, but I do like to cut the script font out of a different color. So let's undo that. We can grab our script font here and just pull that away. That also gives you a little bit of an opportunity to see the cutout that it made in the word silhouette. Now we can right click and group all of those together. And you can resize this design at this point. You just wanna make sure that you have both of them selected before you start scaling up or down. Using an offset with images for sublimation can also be super helpful if you are sublimating onto either sublimation HTV or glitter HTV because you want that bottom layer to be just slightly larger than your printed image. And I know I said I was going to be done when I finished up the knockout design, but I've got one more and I just love this one. So let's get into it and we'll wrap up. Here I have Be Kind. It's written out in kind of a retro font. This is called PN Boogie Woogie. It's from Creative Fabrica. And with these retro designs, I like to layer these. It just gives it such a neat effect. Let's go ahead and click on the words and then use our offset. And I want this kind of large. Let's go with point one and click apply. I am going to group these together because I don't want them moving around on me and I'm going to switch the color up and this would make a really cute layered design as is but if we move this offset down and get it set just right it kind of gives it a whole different look. Now with that offset still selected we can duplicate that again and let's send that to the back and we can pull that down around this way. And again, I want to set that to a different color. Let's choose blue this time. It kind of just gives it that retro 3D feel and I think this is super cute. When you cut this out and go to layer it, you're going to see where the vinyl overlaps and that's not really what you want. So now we're going to select all of our layers 
and open up the modify panel. Now we're going to use subtract all. Subtract all is going to leave our top layer intact and that is our letters be kind and it's going to subtract from the bottom layers. So let's see what we're left with here. We have the original be kind. We have our first offset and then we have our bottom offset. But the way this is cut out now, the vinyl is not really going to be layered on top of each other. You just have to get everything lined up and set in place. You're going to have a nice smooth decal. Don't forget to share with me your favorite way to use the offset tool. And if you are interested in seeing what the mini course is all about, remember that was on print and cut. You can go to my Podia site. It is linked in the description, totally free, but I would appreciate some feedback. So go grab that, create something amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.